Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. First and foremost, I have to say a huge thank you to Phil and Julie from the Bourbon Van. Uh, they kind of challenged a few of us whiskey tubers to, well, the particular state we live in as to identifying a few of our favorite whiskeys, uh, specifically some bourbons. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Hopefully you guys don't get too mad at me. I'm gonna include a few ryes and bourbons in this and kind of include the distillery as a kind of a focus point as well. So uh, I will have a link in the description below to uh, Phil and Julie's channel, again, the Bourbon Van. So make sure you guys check them out. So why don't we dive into the video and first and foremost, right out of the gate, we're gonna go with Hatch Distilling Company uh, out of Door County, Wisconsin. These guys, it's a small little distillery in a town that is kind of known for or being kind of a touristy type of place. But Hatch kind of opened up uh, a handful of years ago and they've kind of started to introduce over the past couple years some different whiskeys. Uh, they've got the bourbon. Uh, they also have something kind of cool. This is just a, a whiskey that they finished in some scotch barrels. So they're trying to always do something a little bit different. And then of course their rye whiskeys. Now again, it's not gonna be overly complex or anything along those lines, but they're going in the right direction. Uh, it's a cool little distillery. Uh, I wanted to kind of highlight them. I'm, I'm kind of excited for really where the, the distillery is going. They've got a couple other little things that they're trying along the way as well, but wanted to kind of include a uh, hatch in there as my uh, kind of first out of the gate uh, whiskey in the state of Wisconsin. So there you have it, Hatch Distilling Company. All right, second out of the gate, from Dancing Goat Distillery out of Cambridge, Wisconsin, uh, not too far from the Madison, Wisconsin area. They're focusing on, this again is the Dancing Goat uh, Distillery. This specifically is their limousine rye. So they're doing a lot of or more focus right now on rye and what the limousine barrel does to that rye. This is just their standard offering. Uh, they've got a cast strength. They've got some corn whiskeys that they're finishing in, uh, some different barrels, things along those lines. But what they're doing and how they're building, they're definitely a distillery that I think, even outside of the state of Wisconsin, that people are gonna wanna start to kind of keep a little bit of an eye on. So I'm really digging what it is that Dancing Goat Distillery uh, has going on. I absolutely love what that limousine uh, wood or limousine barrels do to these whiskeys. And uh, what they've really kind of done to some of the, not only the rye, but some of their corn whiskeys, really, really uh, an interesting rye and what it does is, is extremely um, exciting to kind of know that they're doing something that's gonna be um, you know, really interesting along those lines. So there you have it from Dancing Goat Distillery. This is their limousine rye. Next up from Blue Ash Farms out of Argyle, Wisconsin. So this is gonna be more of the uh, southern, southeastern part of uh, the state of Wisconsin. This is Blue Ash Farms. So Bill O'Donnell, what he's doing with the brand. And one thing I've got to say about Blue Ash Farms is the property where this is located is absolutely spectacular. They do a nice job of taking you kind of on their property around the facility, really kind of showcasing the property. It's part of the full package of what it is they're doing. So. Getting back to the whiskey specifically, uh, you're talking about a, a bourbon. They've got a few different things. They do a lot of different stuff all the way from bourbon to a, a honey finished, a maple finished bourbon. Uh, they've got their gins, vodkas. Uh, they, do this, uh, they do this cherry vodka, which I'm not really one to kind of get into vodkas, but what it does for cocktails is, is amazing. So, but focusing on the whiskey specifically, their bourbon is just one of those, it, it almost feels tried and true. It's one of those bourbons that you can go to where you know exactly what it is you're gonna get, but it's just easy to drink. You know, then when you kind of shift over to their bourbon or their maple, um, and they're gonna be infused uh, whiskeys or bourbons, uh, so you know you're, they're gonna have some sweetness behind them. You just know you're gonna have a really nice, easy sipping whiskey. Um, you know, what they're doing at Blue Ash Farm, I'm, I'm really excited for, for Bill and what they've got going on there at Blue Ash Farm. Uh, they definitely need to be on the radar of a lot of people and um, I wish them, you know, nothing but the best. But there you have it from Blue Ash Farms out of Argyle, Wisconsin. 
All right, so here we go. So now we're at number four. Uh, this is Jay Henry. So they're out of Dane, Wisconsin, which again is in that kind of Madison, Wisconsin area. So if you're in those areas, make sure you're checking these guys out. But what it is that Jay Henry and Sons is doing, um, again, they're very committed to the state of Wisconsin from the standpoint of making it known that the varietal of corn that they're using along the way has a history of Wisconsin behind it. So they use a lot of heirloom, um, you know, grains, corn specifically, they can pull from these grains, create different varieties of, of you know, corn and, and different corn species, but they're always trying to push the envelope with what it is that they're doing. Uh, you know, again, you're talking about just a standard, you know, small batch bourbon. They've got finished in, in cognac. They've got some other different things that they've done along the way. But one other kind of interesting fact, and I'm sure mo most of you guys are gonna have a, a good understanding of who this person is, but Nancy Fraley. Nancy does a lot of assisting them with choosing whether it's single barrel, you know, blending things, creating their batches. So you already have a big name behind this brand. So when you've got great people, you know, behind a whiskey, generally speaking, you're gonna have a great whiskey that kind of shows up, um, you know, in the long run. And that's exactly what it is that J. Henry and Sons uh, is doing. Keep an eye on them. Again, if you're in the Madison area ever, make sure you go check them out. And uh, I think you'll really, really be interested in what they've got going on. So there you have it, J. Henry and Sons out of Dean, Wisconsin. All right, last but definitely not least, and maybe my favorite distillery in the state of Wisconsin overall. Absolutely love what it is that Driftless Glen has going on. So Driftless Glen, if for some reason you're not familiar with them, they are out of Baraboo, Wisconsin and doing some absolutely incredible things. Over the course of the last maybe year or two, as their whiskeys have started to reach that, you know, five, six, seven year range, they have significantly improved to the standpoint of when you give these whiskeys to somebody outside of the state of Wisconsin, you can really trick them into not having any idea that this is a whiskey out of the state of Wisconsin. These are rich, complex whiskeys, period. Uh, these happen to be two picks that myself and Jason, a couple other Wisconsin guys did uh, for the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club. But what it is that they've got, I mean, they have a lot of things outside of their bourbons and rise. They do their standard, you know, gins, things along those lines. But their focus is basically whiskey. It's everything that they, they kind of do and have been doing is, is second to none. I, I absolutely love what they're doing, love their whiskeys, the flavors that these have. They're just great whiskeys, period. And for me, an easy go-to uh, a lot, you know, is the bourbon. These ryes are, are absolutely incredible. So if you, for some reason, uh, find yourself, again, if you find yourself kind of in the Madison area, this isn't that far away. So if you can make the make the drive to, to Baraboo, Wisconsin, uh, I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised and rewarded with what it is that they've got going on. Again, from Driftless Glen uh, Distillery out of Baraboo, Wisconsin, there you have it. There is my list, my five whiskeys and distilleries that if you're ever in the state of Wisconsin, make sure you check these guys out. If you're not, and you're looking for something that was from the state of Wisconsin, there you have it. I don't think you can go wrong with any of those. So, and more importantly, thank you, Phil and Julie, for including me uh, on this kind of whiskey tube challenge of featuring a few whiskeys from our particular state. Uh, mine just happened to be the Badger State and the state of Wisconsin. So guys, thank you so much. Make sure you guys check out uh, Phil and Julie, the bourbon van. Again, I'll have a link in the description below for all of that. So there you have it, Wisconsin represented. And remember, it's about the journey and not the destination on Wisconsin. <laughs>